Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a utility maximization problem of a consumer whose preferences are Cobb Douglas. Okay. So here is a problem. We want to maximize utility which is xy subject to the budget constraint which is 4x plus y is less than or equal to 24 and this is how we are going to write it. We are going to go ahead and solve this problem in steps. The first step will be to plot the budget constraint. So what is the budget line here? Okay, so the budget line is 4x plus y equal to 24. Okay, so uh, let's plot it. So note that since 4x plus y equal to 24, if the individual decides to spend all his money on x, then he can buy 6 units of x. So this point lies on the budget line. Okay, and if the individual decides to spend all his money on y, then he can buy 24 units of y. So this point also lies on the budget line. So if you want to connect them, this is what you're going to get. So that's our budget line. Right? Okay. What is the slope of the budget line? Well, the slope of the budget line is simply price of x divided by price of y, and that's 4. Okay. So what is our budget set? Okay, Budget set is simply all the points that lies below the budget line. Okay, So that's our budget set. So this is how it's going to look. The next step will be to plot the indifference curves. Let's plot uh, IC for some arbitrary satisfaction level, let's say u equal to 5 first, okay. Uh, so IC for u equal to 5 is all those xy's that satisfy the following condition that x times y equal to 5. Now all that you need to do is just need to plot y equal to 5 by x. Uh, that's an easy plot. Okay. Notice that the slope of the IC is uh, given by the ratio of the marginal utilities which is equal to y by x here okay and we know that as x increases y must go down so that x times y stays at 5 okay so ic is downward sloping and the way the slope behaves is given by this expression slope equals y by x so if you want to use the, these, these two information, you will get uh, the IC which has this shape. Okay. Uh, the reason is that first of all it is downward sloping so it has to uh, fall. Okay, That's one thing. Another thing is that uh, the absolute value of the slope of the IC must also fall with increase in X because as X goes up, Y goes down. So numerator falls and the denominator rises. Okay. And if that happens, the slope is going to fall. So you can also say that IC is going to be convex to the origin. Let's plot a couple of more ICs. Okay, let's say for u equal to 16, we are going to get a similar looking IC but shifted outwards in the northeast direction. And if you're going to plot for another level of satisfaction, let's say 40, uh, you will see another IC shifted towards the northeast direction. Uh, so, uh, as the satisfaction level grows, uh, the IC's shape uh, is kind of similar, but the IC shifts upwards in the northeast direction. Okay. So, what is the consumer's problem? If you if you want to see it graphically, it is it is just to pick the the highest possible IC in the north line in the northeast direction uh, on on the budget line. Okay. So let's let's just solve this problem now. This is our budget line. Okay. We want to plot a few ICs through the budget line and we want to figure out exactly where the solution is going to lie. Okay. So if you're going to pick a point, uh, an arbitrary point like this, for example, okay, can the solution lie here? Well, uh, what you're going to do is we're just going to make an IC through this point. Okay. Now, uh, how do you actually check whether this is going to be a solution or not? Well, it's simple, all that you're going to do is just going to compare the slope of the IC with the slope of the budget line. At this point, we know that the slope of the budget line is 4 and the slope of the IC is uh, definitely less than 1. It's, it's, it's a flat IC. The reason is because the slope of the IC is y by x and this point uh, has, has uh, 3 units of y and more than 3 units of x. So, slope of the IC is less than 1. So, IC is going to be flatter at this point. So, it's going to look like this something like this and if you're going to just extend this okay you're going to get an IC like this so that means this point is definitely not an optimal point okay so uh, 
similarly we can do the same uh, slope analysis and we can figure out that this point is not an optimal point either okay and you can see that there is a huge scope of improving the satisfaction level of the consumer if we move in this direction okay so what is the optimal ic going to look well the optimal ic is going to satisfy this property that the slope of the ic will be equal to the slope of the budget line at the optimum okay so how do you find this point now if your graph is precise enough then that's uh, then you can easily get the solution by looking at the plot uh, but let's also see how to do it, do uh, do this exercise analytically okay uh, so we know that the optimal bundle xy will satisfy the two properties one is that at the optimum the slope of the ic which is y by x is equal to the slope of the budget line and that's four and another condition is that the point must also satisfy the budget equation so now all that you have to do is just have to simply solve the system of equations uh, for uh, two unknowns x and y and you want to get x star y star equals 3 comma 12 okay so that's how you solve this problem okay thank you